everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and I thought that I would do some Wonder Woman nail art inspired by the new movie that is coming out very soon. None of these nails are too tricky but will require a bit of patience and a fine brush. I do sell my own nail art brushes which I did these nails with so I'll link them down below for you to check out. I also have a 20% off code at the moment that you can use just in May so again all information will be down below. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, get notifications and thumbs up, and I hope you enjoy this video. As usual, I'm starting off by applying a base coat on all nails to protect them from staining and to make the nail polish last longer. Once that's dried, we'll start with the middle nail, which has the Wonder Woman logo. Begin by painting it blue. Make sure the colour is quite bright as a dark blue won't look quite right. I did two coats and the polishes I used will be listed down below. Once that's dry, use your detail brush like my Nailed It NZ one and with black polish carefully paint on the outline of the logo. Start off with a W and then paint on two more W's above it, leaving a small gap between each one. Once that's done, add straight lines coming out from the side of each W. Next we're going to quickly make a white base so that the yellow will stand out. This doesn't need to be opaque unless you use a darker blue than me. Once that's dried, use a bright yellow to go over it and complete the design. You may want to do a few touch-ups and re-outlines, but that's pretty much how it works and here's the finished nail. For the pinky, we're also starting off with the same blue and then using the detail brush and white nail polish to paint on a bunch of white stars. If you have a nail vinyl or a stamping plate with a star shape, that could be a lot easier, but if not, just hand paint them like me. Go over them again to make them opaque, and use the blue and the white to fix up any mistakes. For the ring nail, we're just going to use a bright gold. Nice and easy, and this represents her gold lasso. I'm using Carried Away by Nicole by OPI here, and if you guys know of any other good golds like this one, let me know in the comments so I can go hunt it down. Alright, on to the index finger. This nail is done in quite a comic book pop art style and we're starting off with two coats of yellow nail polish. The same colour yellow we used in the other nail. So once that's dried, use the detail brush to write in the word POW on the nail and then give it a zigzag outline. Take your time with this and wipe off the brush every now and again so it stays thin. Next, paint white inside the zigzagged area, and don't worry if you go over the words, as they were mostly just there to make sure you got the placement right. Then use the black again and re-outline the words, and the zigzags too if they need to be done. You may need to touch up the white now, so go ahead and do that. Next, use your dotting tool and make a bunch of red dots in the yellow space. Right, so this next part drives me nuts. Somehow I didn't film adding on the serifs to the letters, but all you need to do is add a few little lines and it makes it look way better, as you can see here. Touch up any areas that need it, and then we'll move on to the last nail, the thumb. Again, paint two coats of yellow nail polish, and once that's dried, use a detail brush and black nail polish to outline a star. Again, I struggle with getting stars just right, but you can cheat your way around it by using more black, white and yellow to fix up the areas that need it. Once the basic shape is looking okay, then just go in with the red from before and colour it in. And that's it! Now just clean up around your cuticle area with your clean up brush and some nail polish remover, and then I'm going to show you how to apply a top coat for this design. Apply quick dabs in different areas and don't brush it on. Because the colours used contrast quite a lot, this design will smear easily, so I'm covering the danger areas first with this technique. Once it's dried, you can then go over it again in the normal way. If any top coat gets into your cuticle area, just clean up again. And that's this Wonder Woman design done. I hope you like it. Please remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and check out my nail art brush line down below. Let me know your favourite nail, thanks for watching and I will see you next week.